of a function. Definition Let f of x be a real valued function of a real variable x and let a be any number which may or may not be in the domain of the function f. We say that the number L is the limit of f of x as x approaches a. If f of x gets closer and closer to L, mathematically we write limit of f of x as x approaches a equal to L or we write f of x approaches L as x approaches a. Now this is the mathematical definition of what a limit of a function is. Let us try to see if we can understand what this really means. To explain further what we mean by limit of a function, let us consider the function f of x equal to x 3x minus 1 divide by 2 and let our point a be equal to 4. So we are looking at something like this. Point 4 is here on the number line. There's a point after 4, 4.1 and there's a point before 4, 3.9. So our point A is 4. So we want to see, we want to observe or study what happens as x approaches 4 from the right of 4 and as x approaches 4 from the left hand of 4. Of course, if you want to, if you, you are at liberty of taking 5 and taking a point 2, there's no problem. Now, let's look at this table. x less than 4. So we are looking at values that are on the left of 4. So 3.9 towards 4. And this other side, this column is x greater than 4. So we are looking at values on the right of 4 and are, that are coming towards the point 4. So we say as x as x approaches 4 from the right and from the left. What happens? If we plug in the value 3.9, this is the left hand side, into this function, 3x minus 1 divided by 2. When you plug in 3.9, that is 3 times 3.9 minus 1 divided by 2. F of x, the value you get is 5.35. If you plug in 3.99, you get 5.485, up and so on. If you plug in 3.99999, you get 5.49985. What are we doing here? When you plug in 3.9, you see that the next point here is 3.99. And this point 3.99 is closer to 4 than the previous point was. And when you go down, the last point here, 3.99999, is even closer to 4 than these other points is. So when you plug in these values from the left hand of 4 into the function, you get these values. What do we observe from these values? We observe that as the values of x from the left hand of 4 approaches 4, that is to say, as the values of x from the left hand of 4 gets very close to 4, the values of the function, the functional values, get very close to 5.5. Here is 5.35. Yes, this is far from this. Here is far from 5.5. Here is 5.485. This is 5.5 approximately. And as you go down, the value of f of x gets a bit gets extremely close to the value 5.5. When this happens, what do we see? We now say that okay, that the limit of this function f of x, the function is 3x minus 1 over 2. As x approaches 4 from the left, so we use the sign minus. So this means the limit of the function 3x minus 1 over 2. As x approaches 4 from the left is equal to what? 5.5. Because as the values of x on the left hand of 4 approaches 4, the functional values f of x approaches 5.5. So we now say that the limit of this function 
as x tends to 4 from the left hand of 4 is equal to what? 5.5. Now let us consider values that are on the right hand of 4. 4.1 is our first value here. Now when we put 4.1 into the function, you get 5.65. We then take the next point, 4.01, which is even closer to 4 than 4.1 is. And when we plug in this value into the function, we get 5.515. We go on and on to this point. If you plug in the point 4.00001 into this function, you get the value 5.50015. Again, what do we see here? We see again that the limit of this function, 3x minus 1 over 2, this time as x approaches 4, not on the left, but, but from where? But from the right, is also equal to what? 5.5, as can be seen here. When x was 4.1, we, we got 5.65. But as we went very close to 4, the value of f of x went very, very close to the value 5.5. So we say that the limit of the function 3x minus 1 over 2 as x goes very close to 4 from the right hand side is equal to 5.5. We observe here that the left, now this limit here, x tends to 4 from the left, is what we call the left hand limit. And this one here, 4 plus, is what we call the right hand limit. We observe here that the left hand limit is 5.5 and the right hand limit also is 5.5 when this happens we now see that the limit of the function 3x minus 1 over 2 as x tends to 4 is equal to 5.5 what this means is that before we can conclude that the limit as x tends to 4 of a function is 5.5 of this function rather is 5.5 we have to be we have to be sure that the left hand limit of that function exists we also check that the right hand limit of the same function exists and that the values are the same when that happens we now conclude that the limit of the function itself as x tends to 4 also is 5.5 and it exists it is this value of 5.5 that we refer to as L in our definition of limit. We shall take, now in this problem, before I, before I conclude, we have taken our A to be what? To be 4. We shall consider another scenario with the function f of x equal to 2 plus 1 over x. In this case, we do not have an A, but rather we have our, we have what we call infinity. So we want to study the behavior of this function as the value of x grows very, very large. So we say as x tends towards what? Infinity. In the first instance, we said x tends towards a, where a is a finite number, like 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth. Back to this function. When x is 1,000, when you plug in 1,000 into this function, you have 2 plus 1 over 1,000. What you get is 2.001. When you plug in 10 raised to the power 6, which is a million, into the same function, you get 2.00001. And when you plug in 10 raised to the power 8 into the same function, you get 2.00000001. What do we observe here? We observe that as the value of x keeps on increasing so much so that it increases towards infinity, we observe that the functional values, the values of these functions of, of these values of of these values of x go towards what 2.0 towards 2. So if you take the next point, say 10 raised to the power 40, for example. It will go so close to two, even than this other, pre or even than this this number. So, what do we say in this case? We say that the limit of this function here, two plus one over x, as x tends to not a this time, because x is not tending to a, because x is growing very very large. So, as x tends to infinity, 
is equal to what? 2. What does this mean? This means that as the value of x becomes very large, such that it goes towards infinity, the function, this function here, goes towards what? 2. So we now see that the limit of this function as x tends to infinity is equal to what? 2. So that is the meaning of what we call limit. So if I write, for example, limit as x tends to 3 of a function 3x, what would that be? What I'm simply asking is, as the value of x goes very, very close to 3, this function 3x goes very, very close to what? That is the question. So in our next um, lesson, we shall look at techniques which we employ in evaluating the limit of certain functions. If you like this video, please click on the like button and don't fail to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you.